YouTube, what's good? Happy Tuesday. Today we already bought some stuff. Carmine and another University Blue one. Other than that, got a lot of orders going out today. As you can see, how many orders is that? Like 25, 20? The most notable order to me probably is the Cherry 13 just because I feel like it's sold strictly because it is a one year anniversary of the last dent. So I feel like someone watched that and jumped on eBay and grabbed those cherries. The Kerry Kittles jersey is fire. This Cincinnati Reds joint right here I literally just put up. Dino Juniors, KG5, what does? Some crazy stuff. Just to piggyback what we just said, like I literally just watched the last dance on Saturday and Sunday and like those Cherry 12 just sticks out. Same thing with the Kerry Kittles, like Jordan was giving buckets. 98 series but again like the fruity pebbles we just listed this way five we just listed literally this is like stuff we listed within like a day or two that is selling just like that you know gabby's taking pictures i'm listening to it ag's getting ready to sell it accepting the offer so like you know just like a, a teamwork right now and oh yeah speaking stuff of that really really well Speaking of that, if you've been following Top Shelf Thrift for a while, I used to post like the 90 day totals on eBay. A 90 day total on eBay isn't necessarily like the full amount because sometimes people make us offers we accept, they don't pay. You know, that's not all profit guys. There's work, there's expenses. Uh, we pay a lot for this stuff, but uh, 200K. We hit 200K. Are you just looking for cash for everything? Andre Miller? There's Miles. Oh, there's. I got the Oh, we have a 11. Why you got check me in 10 now? good stuff is just the size it's obviously you can do like 150 for everything the ladder over there i'm gonna so be honest with you it's like i have like similar like basically like i have this one in the 60 i got this one in the 56 they kind of just sit it's a it's a tough market they, if they're in better condition like that dark one if that dark one was clean that'd probably be like a good one that's cool um do you have Enmar or something so okay let's try that you know what cash actually Uh, might have the all black, like I said, in, in ten and a half. I still got some more in the car over here. Yeah, do you have a price in mind for everything? Not exactly. Most of them are more, like, so these, I just didn't even clean. I wore these for a basketball game, wore them outside, didn't clean them. Okay. These are worn twice, brand new. Okay. These ones are worn two, three times. Okay. So you guys try to think of a rough estimate of what you're looking for for everything, kind of. I can hit you real high and we can work out from there. Yeah, if you want to do that, that's cool. Three for everything. Three thousand. Yeah, oh, cool. toes are in there. Yeah, no, no. These are just more classic because they're before the re-release. Okay. Is everything? Yeah, that's everything. Oh, cool. You weren't kidding. <laughs> well, stuff. I told you. <laughs> I try to give you a heads up. I try to get a new car. Shoes to a car. Hey man. Well, some of these I don't even take out. The, like these, I've worn three times in my entire life, and I'm like, eh. those I hate myself because I wore them once, and then two days ago she's like, oh, come to my family dinner, so I put them on to wear them, and I was like, ah, oh, I didn't know I was gonna sell them. It's a good shoe. I don't know why it goes for that much, to be honest. Like if you ask me, I feel like certain things go for insane amounts. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Lights work. Have you ever tried to clean them? No, I didn't even. I wore them once. I, I grabbed those on the way out the door. It was more of a since I'm coming down here, let me bring what I got. And work. Yeah, work. Uh, Where are you at on something like this? I just know this is. I was like, gonna ask you. I guess I could just see what I get to in the whole, for the whole shebang and see kind of where yeah, you're. Yeah, I kind of just brought down everything and then I figured you yeah, knock off what we can. Yeah. Oh, you told sure. <laughs> you get these from sneakers also? I got those from uh, the locket. They were pretty easy to get when they yeah, came. Yeah, no, that was the thing. I got three pairs of them, <laughs> but I just kind of sold two of them nice and quick. So I was like, oh, here's extra two hundred dollars cash. Yeah. So you're at three thousand. <laughs> Like 25? There's two pairs I didn't want to get rid of, but I know that those are two big heavy hitters. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Like, a lot of this stuff is so I know, there's iffy. a couple like iffy ones and then there's some really Yeah, cool, I mean, obviously these you got yeah. a lot for. Do 26. I think if, that, if you could do that. That's fair? Yeah. Okay, cool. The Zell? If you can sell it. I'm not sure what the amount. Um, I think 25 is the amount. Okay, what do you have? I literally have that. Worst case, I can write you a check. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I'd always done that a couple times. So oh. I'm going to send you two. Double check you got that. I'm going to have 600 only. You got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Got it. It's quite surprising. 20, 40, 60, 80, 80. Just count that, make sure it's okay. Hey, go bartender, count that. I don't want much lately. 
Uh, do you have a price you want for them at all? These are like kind of used, you see. Um, I've seen them go for like, what, you know, 300, 400 bucks. So probably somewhere around there. Just the wear on them, we'd probably be a lot lower. Do you try like eBay or anything like that yourself? Uh, nah. I mean, I used to be kind of like big into the game when yeah. I was like, younger. I actually bought a pair of I was going to say, you got big, man. <laughs> yeah, I think the last time you saw me, I was like 13, maybe. Yeah. I'm 20 now, man. Hey, it's time flies. Yeah. I feel like you were like one of my first customers. I, I think I was. I yeah. Know. Location. Yeah. Like what do you think the lowest you'd want to take on them is? I could look into it, but just the wear it's tough, man. Like, I know they do go for a lot, but... I know the new ones go for a lot, In but this like, condition, yeah, these, it's these just are... tough. Oh, really? They're that bad? Yeah, I mean, they, they once the stars start, start going away, you know what I mean? Yeah, also, like, the way it's yellowed a little bit instead of white. Nothing a little cleaner. Yeah, I mean, have you tried to, like, sell them on your own to a friend or something? Nah. It might be uh, worth just... trying that, because I feel like if you do that, you could probably, you know, ask two, two fifty maybe. I just know we'd be, you know... A bit lower. Yeah. Not above 200? No. No? It is a great shoe, it's just like yeah, I said. Yeah, it came in a good year or so, I want. Yeah, no, they're, they're classics. You definitely never see them, but... You can't wear them anymore? They're too small? Nah, I just... You just don't. not into it no more. Yeah. You know, I'm just kind of out of it. I'm just yeah, thinking, like, no, I feel you. I get worried about banging off even more, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I would say... Um, I would say the best bet... You know, try to sell them on your own. Then obviously you could always come back and see, but we'd probably be like a bit lower. I'll try it. Thanks for your time, bro. Yeah, nice to see you. Take it easy. Have yeah. a good one. What are you looking for? You usually have prices in mind. I do. Let's see if you have the price in mind. Oh man. Wow, core purples went down. I'm surprised. Really? Yeah. I thought they would go up. Give me a price, man. I'll tell you that's where I'm at. You know how we do. Alright. Start at about 300 total. <laughs> <laughs> no. Where are you at? No. 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 Where are you Stop at? playing with me, bro. What are you, where are you at? I'm, I'm, I'm asking where you're at. at. I'm at four and a quarter. That would be a little much. This is the last round. Fight! I'll do like 350. You could do 375 and call it a day. I was thinking 325, so I was 350. I was thinking 375. They're not going to change, bro. I'm hoping they do, because 375 sounds like a bit much, honestly. It sounds like I'm taking a loss, honestly. But because it's you, and you're my third favorite Aaron. We're going to let $25 stop us from our business. We can flip a coin. Let's do it again. Come you can on. shoot. You want to flip a coin? Let's flip a coin again. Uh, All right. I'll, say, I'll let you call it. Nah, you going to let me call I'll it? I'll let you call it. Gary, you're the lucky one. Come on, Gary. You He's a lucky one. I'll, 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 yeah. Just check it out first. Hold on. Make sure it's not two. It's yeah, got two heads on it, bro. What like, you mean? Heads and tails. Oh, he's flipping it? Why yes, if he's calling it, this your guy. He flips it. He always flips it. No, come on. He you can flip it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Heads and tails. Yeah. Heads. He just cost you 25 bucks. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 375. Uh, what do you have? Zell, Venmo? Uh, whatever you want to do. Oh, Venmo, yeah. You have cash? Uh, no. No, 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 not cash, cash. Like, uh, you can send me 325 and give me 50 cash. I'm about to go get a haircut. It'll give me 20 cash. 375. Six. Plus tax, I come to 387. It's like you knew you were going to win. You were so comfortable with that coin flip. I didn't Honestly, see that coming. Yes. Got it. YouTube, what's up? It got a little hectic in here. We sold a couple of things, all right? Oh, yeah, Not really. Yeah. So the Yeezy. Yeah. <laughs> That's it, right? The hoodie. Oh, yeah. Oh, the hoodie. And then we bought a whole stack of stuff. Dude came by. He's been coming to me, I believe, since my old store. So it's definitely cool to uh, see him continue to come. Uh, he actually hit me earlier. He was like, yo, I got a big buy for you today. And he was not joking. We spent a little bit over $2,000 for all this stuff. Some honorable mentions, of course, is the Sean Weatherspoon Air Max, the Blue Moon One, and... Bretto one, of course. Just sold one. Last Just sold one, and here's one you don't see every day, man. The Air Max One DLX Safari Edition. Other than that, I also bought a bunch of jerseys that I probably shouldn't have purchased. A lot of this stuff is like very big. I've had it before, and they kind of just sit online for us. But I ended up buying it anyway. Other than that, um, we got a whole stack of stuff going out. Again, I guess we could put this up now. So I've been doing eBay for a long time, and we finally hit 200k 90 day total, which is pretty crazy to see. I remember when. when and I hit 20K and then 50K and then I was like, oh, I'll never hit 100K and then I hit 200K. Obviously, like I said, that's not always uh, all the sales. A lot of sales get canceled. People make offers and we don't accept them or we accept them and they don't pay. So all that amount accumulates. So it's definitely not that amount. And obviously there's expenses and you know, the profit margin is not high on a lot of that stuff. Pretty crazy to see that number on that 90 day total for sure. Never thought we'd see it. And uh, it's definitely motivation to continue to list stuff because people are definitely tuning in to the eBay store lately. Shouts to everyone who's been uh, hitting us up on eBay, mentioning the YouTube, which is crazy. I never thought that would happen. That's been cool. Today's 420. Not that that means much to me. <laughs>
<laughs> you know, it is what it is. It's a very nice day. Our parking lot across the street got shut down. Really sad and sorry for you guys if you know you can't find parking, but there is parking on Bloomfield Ave, there's parking on Forest Ave, Westville Ave, Roseland Ave, Calandras. There's parking kind of everywhere. Dealing with it the best we can. Obviously, one of the favorite things about this location was there being a big parking lot steps away, but again, we're gonna try to deal with it the best we can. Other than that, I also got uh, some jerseys on Sunday, but the plug hit me up and lately hitting me up on like Sunday trying to pull up and uh, he he sold me a really good stack of jerseys so we're just gonna run through a couple of them this is the Rick Barry Miami this one is crazy I've like never seen one like this with the tag is that Pooh Richardson but it's crazy these are new with the tags with the new jersey going down it's just stuff you don't see um the other one I just wanted to quickly meant oh this is crazy too hold up Florida State authentic Dorsey, whoever that is. I went to UMass, so when I saw this one, I was pretty geeked for the UMass, Dr. J, Irving. And this one right here is the craziest to me. The West All-Star Game, Rick Barry jersey. Just stuff you kind of never see. Other than that, I got a lot of work to do today that hopefully um, I can get to now. And yeah. Some more fennel? Yeah. It's too long, man, I can't. What are you looking for for them? About 50. For both or each? No, for both, for both. All right, let's see. Any marks on any of them? This one has a little one in there. So was this tailored or no? Mm -hmm. This was tailored? Yep. Oh, interesting. That makes it kind of weird. So this was like about a 44? About a 48. And this wasn't tailored? No. That's the thing. Once I get, once I tailor them, it just makes it kind of difficult. Yeah, he's hard to find, man, but I have No, it is a nice shirt. Years, Ugh. I mean, what do you think the best you could do is... Give me 100 for both. All right, that's fair. All right? Yeah, that's cool. Um, Zell's cool? Yeah. Actually, I'm going to Zell about my Zell. Can you zell him and I'll You got 25, 25 cash? Oh, uh, yeah. I got 75 cash. Oh, okay. Hold on, hold on. Give, give 40 cash. You have 40 cash? Yeah, I got you. Oh, uh, yeah. Thank you, bro. For like 70. I'm gonna put the aliens. Be safe, man. Yo, appreciate you. Hey, yo, man. Take care, uh, bro. I'm going out. I'm gonna put a T. And you look for cash or trade. Uh, uh, you got memo as well, something right? Yeah, I got uh, it's, uh, right. a high pass on the bait. Can you do 190? 190 for both? Yeah, you want a 220 basically. You want a 150 and 70. You can't meet me at two. I'll meet you at two. I have high pass in this. Just because of the size and there's a mark on the um on the bottom, yeah. Uh, you said Zell's the only thing you got? Yeah, Zell or well, um You got Apple Pay? Like I could text it to you? No, I don't have Apple Pay. Jordan, can you use Zell too or no? Nah? Yeah. What do you want to Venmo you? Uh yeah. I already sent you the phone. Oh, sure. uh, I sent it. I'm really doing it, man. No, how about you? I'm good. Probably looking for store credit, right? For cash, actually. Oh, cash, actually? <laughs> Alright. Well, I mean, I had something in mind, but I didn't think you guys would have it. The uh, Beluga 1.0 is the easy. The size? 10, 10 and a half. I don't think we got that. Uh, pretty low. Oh, 1.0. I'm going to 2.0. Um, how much are you looking for for everything? I wanted 375 for these and like 20 for each shirt. Front porch? I wore them once, they were so uncomfortable, so that's why I'm bringing them back. How, how much you said for each? Um, 20. 20 each. And how much on these? 375. 375. Can you do 275 here? I didn't want to go any lower than 300. I mean, if you could do 300, then I'd take that. It's like 340 for all. Can you do, can you do 330? So like basically 15 for each and 300 for these? Basically, yeah. How were you breaking that one? Yeah. 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 yeah, that's fine. That's fine? All right. He's going to uh, pay you in one second. Oh, that's fine. Or could you do cash or you guys not have that cash? Um, we'll try. PayPal's okay? I know you said cash. I don't know. That's fine. Whatever you want. Okay, pal. Get it from me. Yeah. Okay. I was lacing before you came in. Just double check. Yep, I got it. Awesome. Nice. Thank, Thank you. you guys. I've never even heard of that store. They just opened up. Why did they tell you they weren't real? Something about the the stamp on the inside of the tongue. I think these are fun. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know what they're talking about. Right. It's okay, bro. You got them from Foot Locker yourself? Yeah. Like I even while I was like at their place, I called Foot Locker and they. They like approved that like in December I paid for these. I mean, did it come with the extra laces? Yeah, the, the extra laces are I think still in the car. Yeah, I think they're okay, bro. This Yeezy's doing so bad that it's like if they fake these, it would just look so off. You know what I mean? Like, and they're only going for about retail, so box matches everything seems. So that was the only intro they gave you. Mm -hmm. You just wanted a legit check on them. That's it. Yeah. I think they're okay, bro. I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, there's some stores in Montclair you can check out too, but I'm gonna uh, say these are fun. I don't know why they say that. That's weird. Whatever. That's all I was wondering. It's yeah, good. nah, I think they're good, bro. I guess they just didn't know what they're talking about. Very, very obvious. Nice. Try to move them at all.
It's just tough because there's like small marks on the bottom. That's from probably when I tried it on. No, I feel you, but it's just like for us, you know what I'm saying? Look at those two brown dots. This stuff wipe right off. Like this from putting it on. I understand, I understand what I'm just, you know I understand, but I'm just it is what it is. Like they're just technically not new, you know what I mean? So they're not new because someone tried it on and the floor was probably a little dirty? That's what you yeah. said? Yeah. Okay. That's how it is. You know, All right. That's how it is. I mean, we could still see what the price is to swap them. No, no problem. You could add 50, we'll do it. Do you want to try these? I know for sure this is going to be my thought. Appreciate it. Have a good one. YouTube, we are finishing up here today on this beautiful Tuesday evening. It was pretty slow today, but yeah, nothing really to complain about. We bought a lot of good stuff. We sold a couple things. Did we trade anything? I don't think so. Anyway, um, we're going to continue to put stuff on the eBay store. We have a lot of stuff. As you can see, this guy seems to be working pretty hard over there trying to put stuff on there. <laughs> Uh, other than that, probably catch you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow's Wednesday. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you guys like the content. Appreciate everyone for showing love uh, in the comment section or liking it or sharing it. It all helps a lot. Uh, see you guys tomorrow. Peace. YouTube was good. Happy Wednesday. Today we're in here packing up only a couple things. To start today, we got this reverse flu game. Jordan going out. This is pretty nice with the suede going to the black. If you don't have the flu game, next best thing, I guess. Over here we got... O2 French Blue, Sevens. Look at the toe cap on that, the yellowing. It just looks nice to me, honestly. Those are only hand heading to New Jersey, so shouts to them for those. I don't even know what these are, but 40 Ultra Boost. Packers. Looks like a Superman to me, just because of that and the colorway. Don't even ask. Do not ask. Some bodega, like Polaroid, Vans. Shouts to whoever ordered those, man. Other than that, we're gonna get the day started. Hopefully, uh, make some deals, buy some stuff, sell some stuff. And let's see what happens. I'm like, where do I park? You fun parking? Uh, yeah, I park where I'm not supposed to park. Where? At the bank. Okay, well, you'll be right back. You ever price in mind for all this stuff? Uh, not really. These are used. Okay. Yeah. Oh, early access? Yeah, I gotta. Right. What are these going for? Uh, these are going, well, they're going down. It's like 255 or whatever. That's what's that's just selling on gold or whatever. I don't you, know. You have a price in mind for everything? I'm not sure about these. Well, I'm not sure about this because it's used. So, okay. But I know these shot up big time. Yeah. No price in mind even though they're used? Uh, like 160, 150. Okay, I can see. And these guys? I know these. Uh, Those I might say, you got them from Nike, right? Yeah. I might say it might be worth returning them to be honest. I like, have them check the prices, but. They're going around 200. Yeah. That's what they're selling for, anyways, on Goat. What about the 11s? Anything in mind? It's obviously a tough one. Yeah. Like once they come out, they're yeah. going to go down. But what are you thinking? Is sure Yeah, enough? they cost 285, so. 185, you mean? Yeah, 185, yeah. I was wondering if you could do at least 200. I'd assume that should be okay, considering it. It's a little bit early. Yeah, I think two is fair, bro. Two here. Can you do 125 here? Can you do 140? 130? 135? 135. Um, I would have never worn these if I no. Uh, it's it was a weird market, man. Yeah, I mean the lowest ass on go is like two seventy. I, I hear you. They, they got them. Uh, we could do one thirty five. That's cool. You said one thirty five, right? Yeah, one thirty five. Okay. Um, take this off. I mean, I'll take all that stuff off. Right. You could grab it if you want. Right. Ah! Yeah, I'm not just kidding. <laughs> so these is the question. Like yeah. I don't know. Like I I, I kind of wanted them for my personal collection. I don't think I'd wear them. I might just. Say, uh, just pull them, you know, if we were to buy them, you're saying? Yeah. Probably like 140 ish, something like that. Because I think they're going for about retail. Uh, 150. Oh, and I got another one down here, just to let you know. Oh, another two? Yeah. But Crocs? Not, yeah, the Crocs. These are going for about 190. What are you looking for for them? 140? What was retail? Retail? Yeah. Uh, I have no idea what retail is now. They're like 75 bucks, I believe. Something like that, I guess. I don't know if it's gonna be a tough sell or whatever. Okay, you do 125. You do 130. Um, that's cool. I give it to my dad. He's a big Grateful Dead fan. So we're at 130 here, right? Yeah. So we would be at 130 plus 150 plus 135 plus 200, correct? Yeah. 615. Sounds good to me, if you. Yeah, that's cool. Um, you don't have any detail or nothing? No. Can you do a check? Uh, I can. I was just trying to do a sale. We just bought some stuff. Here we got the Air Jordan 1 Low. As you guys probably know, all the Air Jordan 1 Lows that used to sit in stores now all of a sudden go for a lot of bread. Next up, we got the Croc Grateful Dead Edition. Not really sure why I bought these, but uh, I feel like worst case, I could give them to my dad for some type of gift. But if he watches this, it'll kind of ruin the surprise. Here we got the Tuned Airs. Paid a little less in retail on these. Just kind of like a good sneaker. We did sell the other pair we had in here, so I figured maybe we could sell these as well. Ladies and gentlemen, here we have you know the interesting one got the baby blue on the top of the box i was like what are those 
This is what those are. The Air Jordan 11 Low Legend Blue or Columbia Blue. What are they calling these? I don't even know. Do you know? Are they on the app yet? I don't even know when these come out. Probably in a couple days. They smell interesting. They got the little 23 on the inside, icy blue bottom, carbon fiber. I'm not mad at these, man. I must say, I'm not really a white sneaker kind of guy, but it's like, can't really be mad at these. You want to give your opinion? You want to catch it? Can you catch? You sure? Yoink! These are hard. These are hard. I don't do low 11s, but these are hard. I don't know why. These are just hard. Like, these are just really hard. Oh, pause. I'm gonna make a bold prediction. I feel like this shoe, I think it should do really well, but I feel like it's gonna have a, a lot of hype early, and then when they release, it's just gonna die down. But again, like like you said, like I don't really do all white sneakers either, but it's a classic silhouette right here. Yeah, I think if you take a classic and turn it into a low top, or you take a low top and turn it into a high top, as long as it's a classic, like, and it holds that significance, there's a lot of people out there who want the Legend Blue Columbia 11 high, and can't get it because they're, you know, so expensive and so hard to come by. But if you can get something like this, I Obviously at the store, like people are gonna be very happy about that. And a little jump man too on the back. Yeah, nah, these, these hit, man. man. These uh, hood favorite for sure. These are gonna be a hood favorite. Let me let me check right now while we got you guys here just to see when they release. That way we can like know what we're talking about here. Then we could kind of analyze what prices these are gonna go for. Where would you pop? Oh, uh, I would, but I don't know. I feel like I would I, I would have a little trouble wearing them because of the white. I don't know. So I guess they release on Saturday. I think they're going to do pretty well. Box price is 185 They'll probably, be, you know, stay around that 250 to 300 range. But uh, hopefully we can sell them before they come out, honestly, just because uh, it's nice to make a little profit when you can. It's cool to get stuff in early. I remember back when I, when I first decided to open a store, I worried a lot like, oh, can I get all the new releases? Oh, are people not going to come to the store because I don't have stuff early? And eventually when I stopped caring about getting the new stuff is when I started to really make money I know that sounds weird, but that's kind of like how it worked So it's cool that you know the stuff just naturally comes in and we don't really go like hunting for it just kind of walks in Yeah, good luck to you guys if you try to get these when they come out because I know everyone's gonna probably want these Just to put in the collection even if you wear them or not It's just kind of a you know nice shoe to have in the collection Like I know the person the cool gray 11 lows like I didn't even see myself wearing them But I was like, oh, I gotta get those I think I still have a DS pair of those just because the cool gray 11 high is just such a classic rambling on too much what's better these are these quick quick these these which one's better 11s these are kind of <laughs> cool too man. all right let's see what else happened we'll watch out over there hey. oh he's a hooper yeah he knows where it's at come on oh shut up <laughs> Cool. Just a couple of things. Nothing crazy. What are you looking for for all this stuff? Maybe like hit the T's a couple bucks, you know what I mean? Yeah. We need to plan everyone to make money. Yeah, well, no, was there like a price you had in mind for everything at once? I was thinking like... You want to sell these two? Or? Yeah, well, if you want them, if not, then I'll try to clean them up maybe. If they're even worth anything. That's pretty sweet. I would keep it if it fit me. Yeah, it it's is. like 70s. It is pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, if you want to give me a price for everything, you're usually pretty reasonable. Yeah. I would say these T's, like, I don't really know just because they're going to be they are cool, but... Yeah. Kind of I was thinking like maybe 10 bucks for the three. Okay. And then what, do you, what about the other stuff? I mean, I just picked these up. Like I said, I don't think they're worth anything. I was like, on the way here, I stopped good, at Goodwill. So I yeah, like 10 on this. Well, I don't know if you want to hold on to these. Like, it might be worth you cleaning them and throwing them on your eBay. Because right. they might, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a decent shoe. It's just GS, obviously, isn't as good as men's. But for 10 bucks, I don't think you can go wrong. Yeah. And then, I'm not sure if you want to look at these. Oh, there was a the bubble. Just like hang up or something. All bums that I've never heard of. <laughs> <laughs> These guys, like, I've never. Jeff George, Andrew Ware. There's like two rookies in there, man. <laughs> They're not really worth anything, but like, I figured if you can hang them up. Yeah, pretty cool. Like, five bucks for the whole thing. Like, all the pins and cards. Where you at on, um, I know you said 10. Where you at 10, on these two? I don't know, like 40 for all this. And like, five for all that. So, like, 45. Not counting these. Obviously, I guess I'll just clean them up. Yeah, you can try that. 45 is cool, man. All right, what is, whatever you think. Yeah, that's fine. You gotta get this kid in, in the Little League gym ASAP. I know. Last time, I feel like he was looking for balls, too, but... Well, he's half Dominican, so he's definitely, <laughs> definitely a ball player. What's best for you, PayPal, Venmo, Zelle? I guess PayPal. PayPal? Yeah, I gotta make the vlog. Ready? Throw it in! That should be you, right? Yeah, that's me. I should have sent it, just double check. Yeah. You got it. Any like expensive stuff you found lately? Not really, it's been so dead. It's like crazy. I went to the flea on Saturday, I guess after you. It's like, it's so beat now compared yeah. to what it used to be. Jokic! Put it up! He thought he got a tower! about that bank one? I mean, I found that in my. 
one of my one of my storage bins, man. I don't want that. So I figured I'd, you know. You think that'll sell? Yeah, it's fire. I mean, that's an old school one. Good size. I thought I was going to see 56, but. Nah, it's like a 44, I think. All right, where are we at on the whole stack? Look through them. See what, see what you think about them. What we got here? I think that's the Halloween Havoc one. Oh no, that's a plankton. No, that's mine. I, I forgot I had this in there. It's my gym shirt, man. Oh, my bad, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my bad, bro. <laughs> okay, man. Oh, it's a fall bro one right there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a fall bro shit right there. I forgot I had this. That's my, my workout shirt, man. Hey, man. My Undertaker shit. I already got one of these for me, maybe. You did? Did you? I think so. I only had, I had another one, but with a different logo on there. This shit is crazy. Yeah, they're all in good condition. Yeah, they're not faded, not, you know. Continental Airlines Arena. Oh, and I got the Nets on For today. Real, bro. I, I've been to a couple Nets games in there, man. When it was the Izzah Center. I was going to say, and then yeah. even the Izzah Center yeah. was cool, but. Now, he was my favorite player, too, Mark Kenyon Martin. Oh, my God. This shirt is retarded. Holy smokes. You know, you keep these for yourself or you resell them. I kind of keep that, a lot of them. He's collecting that one. <laughs> yeah, a lot of these shits are for you. Oh, this custom, is the reprint custom, one, too. Yeah, Halloween Havoc. They make cool stuff, though, man. Yeah, they do, yeah. This little yeah. Harlem Heat versus the Outsiders. I got the one guy that he's making another one that I'm trying to order. Let me see if I can pull it up. So where are we at? I know we just we talked about these two. The four, four and a quarter. So right. These two are at the three. Do you like three seventy five? No, the four. I guess that's cool. Uh -uh, cool. Oh, I'm gym show. Yeah. Four. Yeah. 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 <laughs> right. 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 <laughs> I might be a little sweaty, but you know. <laughs> I know he's looking at it like what the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he was like, he was like, oh yeah, that's a. Oh no, it's gonna work out here. <laughs> and I'm like waiting for a graphic to appear on it, bro. I'm like, no, there's no graphic on this. That was cool, right? Yeah, I appreciate I it. All my wrestling shit, man. I only got two left of it. Two, two left of my name, and that's the Austin and the Shawn Michaels one. They're going to a good home. One of these days, I'm gonna take a crazy picture with all of them. Uh, how many you got? I don't know, a lot. How I many? just found a D'Lo Brown one in my apartment earlier today that I oh, forgot yeah. I had on yeah. the back. You it guys says, local? You live around? Yeah, here? it says don't pull your punk card on the back. And it's crazy. I've never seen like I've never yeah, seen another one it, like it. It must have been one of them. Um, one of them um, ones that weren't popular. Yeah, because who who really liked? Yeah, he was all right. Yeah, he but cool. all right. So we just bought some more stuff. A couple vintage pieces just came by. One that is most notable to me was this West Virginia tee. I think it's super fire, single stitch, feels really nice, really good condition. Other than that, we got some other crazy stuff right here. My guy with wrestling tees came by, and today he brought this crazy Cincinnati Bengals helmet tag, Reebok Authentic. If you ever see this helmet on a tag like this, um, it's a good piece. These are just like heavy, they feel good, and usually you find these jerseys in a 56 60 54 52 very rare to find in a 48 so i'm definitely happy this one came through we have a couple reprint shirts right here this one's really crazy if you ask me even though it's a reprint just the way it's done the back is sick on it but these two right here, this is where all the money's at. These are two shirts that he told me about the other day. He kind of said, hey, would you pay this amount? And I was like, hey man, I'll pay it. I don't play. It is what it is, you know? If you really want something, sometimes you gotta pay for it. And that's what I did. Here we got the SummerSlam 1997 Continental Airlines Arena on the back. If you know, you know. I went there a lot to uh, watch the Nets back in the day. This one is crazy. The graphic is just, look at the WWF tag. And then don't forget the back. I'm gonna be honest, I think Royal Rumble was probably my favorite wrestling event. Like that Royal Rumble actual part where everyone's in the ring and you have to throw the guys out of the ring and the last person in the ring wins. Like growing up, that was my favorite. Even in the video games, I thought it was super sweet when you could like do the Royal Rumble edition mode. That was really cool when they introduced that. So we got these crazy t-shirts that I'm gonna add to the collection. It's looking kind of grimy outside. The rain might start. Other than that, anything else? Not really much. We've been organizing a little bit. See what else happens to the before, but it's cool. Also, just take a look at it, make sure everything's good. Uh, I can text, email, print your receipt if you need one. Uh, uh, keep the receipt, but don't put it in the box because the ink can rub off onto the bottom soil. Yeah, gotcha. uh, I, mean, I, I copped from Saturday. Nice, bro. I was looking for like 460. For 460 for this pair? Yes. Okay, cool. And the uh, Ash Pro? Bro, like 360. For okay, cool. This is a tough one because I've heard about obviously the um, like the shipment delays and stuff, yeah. so I don't want to pay too high on them. You said how much on this? 475? Yeah. Oh, this is six and a half men's. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't realize it. How'd you end up with this? Uh, my mom copped them. Wow. Uh, how much you say you're looking for? 475? Yeah, 475, 475. And how much you say on these? 360. Okay. I don't know if you could do 425 and 325. This one's a tough one. Like, yeah. I, I know it's worth a lot, but like. Could you do 
440. What about this one? For these, and they are here like uh, 330. Well, I said 325, so you don't want to say 320. Oh, okay, so yeah, 330, <laughs> 330 I'm here. 330, yeah. and you said how much was? Uh, I'm fine with 450. What did you say you can do on them if? I could do 440. I'll do 440, can you do the 325 here though? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, I'm okay with that. What's the best way? Do you have Venmo? Yeah, Venmo is the best. Sorry about parking too. I hope you guys were yeah, able to. It's crazy. Uh, you should have got it. Just double check. Yeah, I got it. All good. Okay. Appreciate you. We just had a small little buyout. It's been pretty slow today, off and on rain. So uh, like, it literally just got cold out of nowhere. I was wearing shorts earlier. Now it's about to like thunderstorm and rain. Anyway, kid came in. He's definitely a young hustler because uh, brings all types of sneakers in. This one's a rare one, man. A six and a half. The whole time I'm looking, I, I thought it was a GS size. It ends up being a men's six and a half. If you know, you know the men's six and a half, seven. Like why they even make these in a men's six and a half? I don't even know. Doesn't even make sense. Doesn't even make sense how much I paid for it, but I. Did. Next up, we have the Ash Pearl Yeezy in a size five and a half. If you guys have those base sizes, please bring them in because we definitely need a lot of small size Yeezys. They sell really well for us. So we picked both of these up. Definitely good inventory to add. And I also can't forget about these. You know, just something I had in the archive. Figured we'd bring them out. Very, very clean size 11. And some other stuff too, if Jordan wants to rifle through. I think two of them are the same. The 11's different. <laughs> the history behind that shoe is great, all right? That shoe used to be worth something. I, I waited outside. Did I tell that story already? Mm -mm. I waited outside overnight for that shoe in New York. It was worth 800 bucks. So anyway, brand new Good inventory for, this, for the shop. Jordan's been taking pictures of a lot of stuff. We're going to hopefully get a lot of that stuff on eBay and then continue to see what the day holds. Uh, where'd you get them? They're not mine. They're somebody else's. I forget where he's. They, he sent you in here to sell them or something? Or? Yeah, he's busy right now. And I was in the Maybe room. that's because they're fake. They're fake? Yeah, they're, those ones are. Are you serious? The tag and everything, yeah. Hopefully that's not why, why, he, why he sent you. It's just like the font just looks sloppy. They feel sloppy. You got the light too. See that? Wow. Yeah. It's like an Asian stamp, I guess. Chinese factory. What Fair. kind of light is that? Uh, it looks like a black light. You could get them online for like five, ten bucks too. Thank you. Yeah. They don't sell these anymore because he moved to Lina. I remember when they came out, I was like, I should buy them. I didn't buy them. And then I went to buy them again and they were gone. I was like, damn, I should have just bought them. Uh, just the two pairs? Mm -mm. And then like, this one. Ooh. He sold on the last side. Dilo has a shoe? Yep. Lina. Damn, that's my guy. What size is this? Ten and a half. You said two twenty for everything? Yep. You're just looking for cash or for credit or I look around but cash probably. Okay. I guess two twenty is cool. I don't really know what they go for, but I'm just gonna take a chance. I would assume I mean if I could get a hundred dollars each worst case I'll be okay. What is the PayPal or Zell? What did I send you last time? Zell? I think so. Last time I think I bought something. I bought the turbo greens last time. Oh yeah. What do you uh what's the best way for you? Yeah, if I'm up. Alright, cool. You got the code? I actually hit these two, and it's funny, I don't hit shit, so. Okay. Just double check, you got it, it should be all good. Yeah, I got it. Awesome, appreciate it. As you can see, we just purchased a pair of the Air Jordan 5 Raging Bull. I have a funny story about this sneaker right here that I have to tell. And if my mom's watching, she'll remember this story. I always bother her about this story because it's like one of those gruesome, terrible, wish I didn't do stories. Anyway, this is how the story goes. Back in 2009, when this hat came out, from my recollection, they were kind of sitting on shelves. I remember going to the mall, not really having enough money to buy them. I think I was like 19 at the time. I remember saving up and eventually getting a pack. Uh, I got it in a size 12 and I uh, brought it home. The 3M pair I ended up selling and I had the red suede pair. And I think I owed my mom money for something and she was like, why do you have all these sneakers in the closet? Like you're not wearing them. Like why don't you sell them? But my collection was getting, you know, decent. And I, basically I needed funds, man. Sometimes you need funds. And the one sneaker that I knew was gonna get some amount of money was this pair right here, at least the 2009 edition. I threw them on eBay, not knowing how the auctions work and long story short ended up selling them for like oh man like 220 shipped 
something like that 200 ship basically a terrible price literally like six months later or three months down the line after that this sneaker went up in price and uh, it was impossible to get and it was considered a grail very sad story so i always bother my mom about that like i wish she never like talked to me about my collection and made me uh, you know sell them but then again i look back and maybe if i didn't sell them i wouldn't have this like fascination with sneakers and then i wouldn't have the sneaker store like you know you never really know so if i didn't sell the raging bull fives back then for the low price and i was like mad about it my whole life maybe i wouldn't be here either way quick snippet if that made it to the video we'll see i don't really know but uh yeah these just came out the re-retro edition i personally am a big fan of the sneaker again like this was a grail so sneakers that come out that are grails to some people they'll always hold their value right flint 13s you see those they're creeping back up black metallic fives fire red fours black cement threes obviously this you can't really say that this is on the same level as a black cement three but to me growing up in this era if you know you know like this sneaker was a grill this sneaker was 500 to a thousand dollars if you saw someone wearing these sneakers you had to tip the hat you like you know you see someone wearing these like anywhere back in the day it was like wow he's he's doing that i wish i had my 09 pair here so i could compare the two because i do have an 09 pair that i wore that i acquired later in life but i'm not too mad about this sneaker man i think it's cool the suede isn't the softest but it seems like it's gonna last very cool box just all in all a cool sneaker i think that eventually this will you know of course go for you know 350 400 bucks i hope we can buy as many as possible if you guys have these for sale for a good price please bring them by we'll continue to buy them especially men's sizes and uh yeah let's see what else happens this 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 is yeah tough. that's crazy don't get too white. what are you at what are you trying to do with these honestly i'm really looking for purple lobsters i just picked up the, the red and the blue pair and i already have the green right. i'm trying to trade and then possibly do cash but uh, i don't know i mean you know, whatever you have. If there's anything that. What do you want for them, though? I mean, trade value. I mean, you know, I mean, I'm not a cash guy. I, would, I mean, 550 trade value. Was one supposed to be upside down? Uh, I, don't think so. value. I don't know. Because I had like a seven and a half. We recently sold for like 250 oh, with the special damn. box. So I don't know like what you paid. I'd assume they co signed them at 470. So what do you wow. pay like five ish? Okay. No, no, no. I'm saying like, what did you pay for them? 650. Oh, no, because it's Pretty weird. High. I think leaves the amount that they get the person on the so 470 650 yeah pay 650 they had one for three 650 let me see maybe the size goes for it yeah, so yeah bro i'm gonna I be like honest it's pretty interesting because be your nike sb signs are upside down are they actually look one's upside down and it's funny we sold the biohack the other day wow. and we didn't know and the guy got him was like yo one of the nike airs is upside down you know these are worth like way more i'm like oh thanks bro that's interesting because i think that would i'm surprised they didn't catch that that's like rare i don't know if i'd pay 550 for them still honestly hey, <laughs> but, yeah, it's like, all good it's man no i mean see. They, um yeah, yeah, what that's... size hyper wheels you have eight, eight and, and a half. half only damn no nines that one's been tough. We got actually a six and a half men's in today, which is weird. Oh, man. Like you said, I'm, I'm not a big cash guy. I'd rather yeah, just, maybe just shop them around. Just like put them towards jobs. something. Like, like, I don't know, whatever you think is. Everyone trying stat pack. I don't know why. See that? Work on Mondays? Yeah. Pretty far. Yeah, just <laughs> to see that. You know what's crazy though? Honestly, like I would keep them, but it's like the only nine SB that is like uncomfortable. Tight. Yeah, real tight. All my other SBs in a nine fit good. Those and I'm just a little upset. They were in this condition when you got them. Six fifty. I feel like they overpriced them. Definitely. But not that I was just, I was just one of those impulse buyers. Yeah, I, was like, you know what? I don't know if they realize that. Maybe that's why. I don't Maybe know. I like this one. I like it. it, it, it you could tell no, like that's yeah. like I throw I it in the wash. I had that for one fifty. So yeah, it's tough. Yeah. You said 30 for the All Star, right? Yeah, I took that one down. 335. For everything? Yeah, I'm just gonna oh, that's try one. Let's go. 335, yeah. Let's go. I can't. Card. Yeah, I mean, you got memo? No, I'm gonna use credit card. Oh, yeah. I can do it with the square, right? Uh, yeah. Quarter of your life, bro. I'm just saying. I'm just looking for like a decent one. Like, I can't. I'm not trying to do no crunch. I'm like, like, that's a lot, though. That's really like pushing designer right there. I feel you, bro. Just go to Gucci. Designer doesn't hold its value, though. Go work with me. You can talk to him. He can work with you, too. He don't want to work with you. You didn't see that? You know, you just don't talk to him. Talk to him. Come on, close up, go get fat. You know how we rock. I take care of you every time you speak. I see your price, I and you think it. I see you getting yeah. too. Talk yeah. to me. Yeah. Talk yeah. to me. Yeah. You know, tell me what you're thinking. Like, I need some money to go out there. Like, this one, you know, we. He trying to do me dirty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, 
don't oh, need a dispenser out there. I come through, I bring all my niggas here. Oh shit, like, oh, like, talk to me, talk yeah. to me, bro. Right, come on, son. Like you know, so, we businessmen, that's what we do, right? So, so, how much did you know? three? You said, 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 said six. That's nine hundred. Come, come on. No. Come on. Bro. So talk. Come on, bro. Can talk to me. Can we? Can we do? Can we get any small size? Can we get somewhere like straight? Fly, and I want to come back to me. Damn. Make sure have me out there. Just fly. No weed. You ready? Uh, tag y'all, pull up a couple of my homeboys next time. What do you want? Hey, Come on. <laughs> right there, bud. The eight, I swear, I just walked out. I just walked out. Eight's tough. Eight's tough. The eight right there, bud. Two. Eight is tough, man. Right, He's tough, bro. I feel you. I feel you. Bro, we didn't put these up yet, bro. I swear to God, this came in an hour. That's why I was looking at him. Damn, I'm like, you know, as soon as I put them on, they pop for like 400 on the ground. Come on, bro. Tag top shelf. Look, two more customers. Tag with him, but 850. I think 850 is probably the best. I'll give you right, one. Yeah. I'm gonna go with him with eight. Let's see what he said. Say him off the I said 850. You said eight? You said eight? eight. Eight's tough. He basically wants, he wants these for five, basically. Oh, boys. Talk to me, my boys. Come on, now. You going to Cali? Um, you know I don't lead a hood. It's the first time I get to lead. I just want to show out one time. This one time? Over you said you were at 850? Yeah. And you are at 8? Want to do 825? I said 820 right there. You said 820? I said right there. 20 right Damn. there. I mean, and it's all cash? All cash. You said he's tagging us on the gram? On the gram. Are oh, you a rapper? Flick, flick. No, nah, <laughs> it don't even matter. I got niggas that's gonna come here and buy nah, this. I'm, I'm fucking with you. You already know how I come. You said 820, right? Mm -hmm. Watch when I tell niggas where I got these. I bet you, as soon as I get back, they coming. Nah, nah, I mean, you've been shopping with me for a minute. You bring people, so. Uh, 820 cash is cool. That's why, yo, and that's why I'll come back. Tell your friends they're not gonna get these deals, all right? And honestly, 13 stuff, we just got these in 20 minutes ago? You just said that, yo. Yeah, <laughs> so like, and the backwards we got recently too, because we didn't have those ones. I recognize you on the on the phone, that's why I told you, honestly, I didn't have much, because you said Yeezys. You were like Yeezys. Uh, you know, that sounds pretty fun to be stuck in Cali, I ain't gonna lie. Hell no, it's a little bit of Come down there. Thank you One, two, <laughs> three, four, five, six. Damn, these should smell like they fresh out. Fresh out the bank for y'all. Alright, man. Yo, that's yeah, why y'all live it. Oh, shit. I almost knocked up. I thought there was one more. Don't we have that black? You know what I'm talking about, Jordan? The one that's like a different material? Yeah, if you like any of those. Go on a trip or just need a bag? I'm just trying to buy my girlfriend, I guess. Oh, nice. We have like uh, side bags too. You want to look at those or? Yeah, where are those at? Brand new, they go for like 250 or three. Probably do like two for it, something like that. Or which one? The the red one. Two? Yeah. All right. You want to take that one? Yeah, I'll take that one. Right. How much does that one go for though? This backpack? Yeah. I believe this one is 225. I'll just take this one then. You want to do that one? Yeah. All right. Cool. Um, just check it out. Make sure there's you know any issues with it or anything. I don't know anything about this stuff. <laughs> there might be like a thousand dollars in it. I don't know. I would take that out before you give it to your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll do two. All right. Cool. Do uh, you need a bag for it? Uh, yes. I could uh, have like a pay cash card, Venmo. I'll pay card. Do you have Venmo or Zelle? Just because usually we charge a fee for the card, like it's 3%. I have Venmo. Venmo? You need a scan code? Yeah. I'll be doing it around May 1st again. So 200? Oh, uh, yeah, two flats. Cool. I hope she likes it. That's a good Me one. Me and her are going to have a problem. She don't like it. <laughs> uh, we got it. All right, cool. Awesome. All right, Appreciate thanks, it. Right. Closing pitcher. About to close the game out. Been a long game. Coming in. Bottom of the ninth. <laughs> anyway, uh, we just sold the um, Supreme shoulder bag. Just had a couple things come in. Um, here we got a pair of biohack ones. This is size four and a half. Nice little base size right here. We sold a pair of Backward 3.0s and a pair of Raging Bull 5s. It was really cool that we sold the Raging Bull 5s because they came in and they sold within an hour. And I had no idea that we would sell them. So obviously it's cool to buy something and sell it right away. Jordan's been taking pictures of stuff, so we got a lot of stuff to load onto the internet. Other than that, it's been a pretty slow day, which is good, it's smooth. Tomorrow's Thursday. Thursday's usually a little more busy than Wednesday. Shout out to everyone who watched our episode yesterday. It's been doing numbers. We, we appreciate everyone who watches the YouTube, who likes the YouTube content. Appreciate everyone who can hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, comments, whatever it is. You guys appreciate all y'all. Other than that, anything else? Jordan don't got much. 
Not really much happened today. I guess I'll shoot one. Oh, look what I got here, a ball. All right, guys, till next time, peace. Almost a skimmer.